In the ever-evolving world of AI, choosing the right large language model can feel like picking a champion in a robot rumble. Today, we've got two contenders in the ring, Gemini, Google's powerhouse model, and Mistral, the high-performance challenger from Mistral AI. But forget complex code and expensive tools, we're putting these AI titans to the test in a free, no-code voice flow chatbot. Buckle up as we see who reigns supreme in tasks like answering questions, crafting creative content, and adapting writing styles. Through this side-by-side -side comparison, you'll not only discover which model might be the best fit for your needs, but also unlock the potential of voice flow to build interactive experiences with these AI superstars, all without writing a single line of code. We will also show a better way to display the conversation in chat GPT format with large windows instead of the small chat bot dialogue window. This is especially superior when the text is lengthy. Let's get this AI showdown started. Now we are on the voice flow canvas showing a demo chat bot with the AI models we have built in our previous videos. We have Gemini Pro from Google and Mistral 7B and Mixtral 8X 7B from Mistral AI. If you want to know details how to set up the API calls to the individual AI models, please watch the related videos on my channel. Let us take a quick look of this chat bot for comparing these AI models. In the beginning of the chat bot, we have a set block, which set the NVIDIA API key and the Gemini API key. The keys are saved in their variables, which can be used later. Next we ask the user to select a model. We provide three buttons. Each button has the corresponding model name. For the Gemini Pro button, we have added an action, where we set the variable model to Gemini. When the user clicks this button, the model variable will have the value of Gemini. For the Mistral 7B button, we add an action to set the model variable to Mistral, and for the Mixtral 8X 7B button, we set the model variable to Mixtral. Next, we use a text block and a capture block to capture the user question, and save it in the variable. In the condition block, we decide which model we should go to according to the value of the model variable. For example, if the model value is Gemini, the logic will flow to the Gemini model. The same thing is for the other two models. If the condition is satisfied, it will lead to the corresponding API block for each AI model. Let us take a look at the API block for Gemini Pro model. It has the API URL containing the API key, the header, the body data containing the user question and it fetches the response and extracts the answer to save it in the answer variable. If you are interested in how to set up the API block, please watch our previous video. For the Mistral 7B API, it has the API URL, headers, and the body data containing the user question. It also fetches the response and extracts the answer to save it in the answer variable. If you are interested in how to set up the API block, please watch our previous video on Mistral 7B. For the Mixtral 8x 7b API, it has the API URL, headers, and the body data containing the user question. It fetches the response and extracts the answer, and saves it in the answer variable. If you are interested in how to set up the API block, again, please watch our previous video on Mixtral 8x 7b. Lastly, we use a text block to display the answer to the user. We provide three buttons for the user to click. The user can continue the conversation, or change another model, or end the conversation. For the continue button, we have added an action to go to the question block, so the user can ask another question. For the change a model button, we have added an action to go to the select a model block, so the user can choose another model. For the end conversation button, we have added an action to simply end the conversation. In this demo, we have included three AI models to test side by side, asking them the same questions and comparing their responses. As shown, it does not need coding, and it is free. Let us click the Publish button to publish the chatbot. Click the Embed Widget button. We select the code and make a copy. We paste it on a notepad, and we'll get back later. Let us go to VoiceFlow's docs page for Embed Customizing Styling. We go to the section with the name of Embed the Web Chat in a page, and make a copy of this code. We paste it under the version ID. After the document, we replace this with body. Now let us select the whole thing and make a copy. Next let us go to Google web page and right click on the mouse and select inspect. We click the console tab, paste the code here and press the enter key on the computer. Close the window and start new chat. Here we can see the dialog window has the full size. For some applications, we need a large window, especially when we have lengthy texts. Let us select Gemini Pro first. 
We ask, what is the most populated state in the U.S.? Gemini replies, California. This is very concise. Next, let us change the model to Mistral 7B. We ask the same question, and Mistral replies with a long answer. It includes the number and year, which has more information. Let us change to Mistral 8X7B model, and ask the same question again. The Mistral replies with an even lengthier answer with much more information. As we can see, Gemini is very concise, Mistral is in the middle, and Mistral provides more information in its answer. You can make a choice, depending on your needs. Let us continue the test. We ask if the model can access the internet and provide real-time information. Mistral replies, no. I don't have access to the internet. Let us change to Mistral 7B model to see what its answer is. Mistral replies, yes. I have access to the internet and can provide real-time information. Really? This is exciting. Let us test Gemini. And Gemini also replies with access to the internet, although it reminds that might be limited. Next, I am going to renew my driver license in New York. Let us Google search Renew Drive License New York, and click this to go to DMV webpage. It shows how to renew a driver license. It looks very long webpage, and I want the models to give me the information instead of me reading the lengthy text. Let us make a copy of the URL, and paste it as a question. Gemini replies with how to renew the license. It provides three methods to renew a driver license, and requirements, and instructions for each method. This is very good, and quite surprising. Let us test, Mistral 7B. Mistral replies with steps to renew a license, but with less information. Personally, I like Gemini answer better. Next, let us see how Mixtral 8X7B behaves. Mixtral's reply is similar to Mistral's, but with even less information. I think Gemini is the best at this point. If we compare the responses from the three models, we can see the Gemini answer has better format and more information. So I give it a thumb up. Next round let us compare their coding capability. We ask the model to write Python code to solve the Fibonacci problem. Gemini replies with a standard solution. But if the number goes large, it can run into memory issue. Let us see what Mistral 7B responds. It gives the same code. Even the variable name is exactly same as that of Gemini's. Now let us test Mixtral 8x7b. Mixtral replies with four methods to solve the problem. It considers recursion and iteration. It also uses memoization and tabulation to solve the problem. This is much, much better. Mixtral is the best in coding. Next, let us ask the models to summarize a long text. On the Google page, we search AI models article. We see this title, AI-Generated Data, Can Poison Future AI Models. It makes me curious to try to find out why. Let us go to the web page. Its title is very interesting. This article looks pretty long, and I do not have time to finish reading. We may ask the AI models to help. Let us select the article and make a copy. We are going to paste it on a notepad, because we can get rid of the images on the web page, and keep only the text. We then select the entire text and make a copy of it. Let us go back to the chatbot and we ask the model to summarize the article and paste and send it. Gemini replies with the summary. The summary looks good. This shows that we can send a very long article. The model can accept the long article and give us the summary. Let us change to Mixtral 8x7b and Mixtral replies with a summary. Mixtral's summary looks very similar to the Gemini's summary. Even the links are similar. This means both models can return similar results. Let us test Mistral 7B, and Mistral replies with its summary. Again, this summary is very similar to the previous ones. This tells us that the capability of summarizing long articles is similar among these three models. Let us end the conversation. In summary, we have shown you how to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Gemini Pro model and the famous AI models from Mistral AI. Each has their own advantages. Gemini provides concise answers, while Mistral models provide lengthy answers with more information. Mistral 8x7b is best at coding. As tested so far, these three models can accept pretty long articles as input and provide similar summary. What we have shown here is very preliminary, and you can experiment to choose a model which works best according to your needs. You can also tune the parameters in the API block such as temperature, token limit, etc.
please leave comments to let us know what you have discovered. If you are interested, you can read more research articles or papers. I have read many of them and plan to make a video on comparison of the AI models in depth. At least for now, I recommend you go to Mistral AI webpage to get some sense how the Mixtral 8x7b model compared to other AI models. Hope this video helps a little. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.